Hello from Berlin, the capital of Germany. But unlike the other capitals in the European top five leagues, not really a football city. Well, they've got well supported clubs, but not particularly successful. Bergate looking more like a wall today with the, 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 the refurb that's clearly happening there. But as I was saying, you would say London, um, Rome, and Madrid, and even Paris, all home of some of, if not their nation's biggest clubs. And yet Berlin, Hertha and Union, while they're very well supported, of course, because they're a German football team, uh, they're very passionate fans, but it's not a, a hotbed or a place where the most successful clubs really thrive. And it's, well, it's quite a bizarre thing. It's the complete other side of the country in Munich and Dortmund and Gelsenkirchen where the the most successful clubs live. It's funny, I'd, um, I'd, I'd love to know why that is. It's just, it's just one of those things, I guess. But anyway, today I'm off to Hertha Berlin's Olympiastadion to see how they're getting on with life in the second division. Just had a Hertha fan in the seat across. Chuck up and then get off. It's a drink because it stinks on there now. Oh, I won't show you, it's disgusting. But... And here it is behind me, the Olympia Stadion in Berlin, the biggest stadium in the second tier anywhere in Europe. None really come close. Um, got the San Nicolò in Bari, which I think is second, which I've been to, but uh, even that's a good 10,000 less than what this Olympia Stadion holds. It was a bit of a surprise when her to were relegated last season, and perhaps even bigger a surprise that they currently sit 10th. So 11th after Magdeburg, who I saw yesterday, have now overtaken them in the league with the win. Um, yes, they are currently 11th in the Zweite Bundesliga. Meanwhile, Ellsberg, who they play today, who just got promoted from the Dreiliga, are currently in 6th. So they are going very well in their own right. Um, so, I should see how this one goes, really. I could um, I think envision and perhaps expect a home win, but it's not guaranteed by any stretch. Just found by complete chance behind me a bag drop, something we don't have in England or anywhere like that particularly, and it's a bloody lifesaver because I'm flying off pretty much a little while after this game, so I'm not staying there, so I know to dump it, so that was absolutely brilliant. Shout out Herta for that. Now, I actually have been to the Olympia Stadion once before, but not for a match. Uh, I came on a school trip and I came to Berlin many years ago. Um, but yeah, never got to take in a game here for Hertha or, of course, Union, who are playing their Champions League games here. Although I think they may have all been and gone now and they're definitely not playing anymore. That much we do know. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like from where I'm sitting. eating and drinking I didn't realize quite how bad my hands were getting oh my god they're so red I haven't checked the temperature but we were due snow today in Berlin that's all I did know it's obviously not a warm day in the 
team. It's in and Elvesborg leading. Up a no to VAR banner, but VAR has ruled the goal out. Uh, not on this occasion. Elsborg of equalizer, an absolute beauty. But pretty much nothing, 1-1. One, one.
so so far so good for her to although I have been told that if the league ended at half time the games ended at half time her two would be top of the league um, and they're obviously not so they're not really a second half team but so we'll see how they go on today hopefully for their sake um, a win because they're obviously brilliant aren't they? what do you think? considering that stadium is so massive they made a great noise I was warned pre-match that Hertha were not much of a second half team and yet they scored two in the first half and three in the second half rounding off a brilliant weekend of 
Zweite Bundesliga action where the German second tier where goals are to be had by the truckload. Three games, 15 goals, um, and just brilliant atmospheres, great experience, good food. It is the place to watch football, I tell you. English football is amazing as well, I love it. I love where I live, I love our culture, but it's nice to, uh, from time to time, enjoy something different and um, German football is certainly right up there for me. So until next time, goodbye.